a bit later. Okay. Okay. All right. We have the Fab Lab at the Museum of Science and Industries uh, robot workshop and development. This is a robot uh, frame that was developed in a Fab Lab in the Netherlands uh, by a guy named Edwin. And uh, this is the second prototype. The, the first prototype we had was tethered. This one is actually has an RC control on it. We'll build these uh, robots in 45 minutes. They run off of four AAA batteries, two servos, and then a low-cost uh, radio control. So the guests to the museum will get all that stuff with the uh, robotics workshop, so they'll take this home. They'll cut the parts on the laser cutter. Um, they'll be able to customize and decorate the parts too. We're thinking of double scaling this up so it's easier to do that. So it's a little larger so you can see what's going on. Maybe add your own head, tail, things like that. You can see here the body has an angle um, in it to it, which will make sense in a minute why it's like that. So you use the, the two different uh, servos. You can see it starts to lift its leg up off the ground and that allows it to have freedom to step forward then. And then it shifts its weight forward onto the front leg as you shift the rear legs forward. There you can see it drops. And that's how quadruped motion uh, works with four legs. So there'll be an investigation to that. So we're hoping to also get some other scientific principles and engineering principles explained with this uh, robot. And actually, I'm in trouble learning, there's turning, and then you can actually, let's see here, let's lift this leg up. It takes a little while to learn how to make it move. Let's see if we can step up onto the book. There we go. Let's miss it that way. Oh, there it goes. So it can actually step on the short objects. There we go. So that's the, oh! <laughs> Looks like a bug when it falls over for sure. So that's the robot workshop and how far we are on it in development.